Tasty beverages, no longer just for quenching your thirst. Fermented drinks like kombucha that claim to provide health benefits. Sales of them rose 37 percent in the last year. The trend growing. Dr. Mikhail Varshavsky, Dr. Mike, so. What are the health benefits? Are they exaggerated? I have some aloe vera of <laughs> grass. Yeah. Well, I can tell you this is a booming industry. It's a booming business. Billions are being made up from these drinks. And we need to understand that a lot of this is marketing, if not all of it is marketing, especially when it comes to some of these false promises that I see on these labels, yeah. talking about increasing fertility, cleansing your skin, improving your sleep. It's just it's not real. The studies done behind this are incredibly weak. They're funded by the... Uh, companies themselves. So I'm not a fan of over promising results to people only because then it changes their behaviors and guidelines. Instead of focusing on things that matter, like your diet, your exercise, mm -hmm. your sleep, they but think that they can have a watermelon. Diet. Is it the case that the best thing you could drink is just water? There's no such thing as the best thing you can drink. I'm not a fan of vilifying these drinks because they're drinks after all. It's juices, it's probably fine. But it's also not great to make these heroic statements like, uh, you know, watermelon water is gonna carry all of the vitamins and nutrients you need for the day. It's just not true. I've had this before, it's aloe vera, and I'm just letting folks know that it's chunky. <laughs> <laughs> this, actually, this has it's chunks got, in it. It's got who, pulp who in it. And it's taste apple cider vinegar? <laughs> oh, that, who wants a, oh, that, a you, you don't understand the, the claims coming from apple cider vinegar. Um, it started uh, probably on some medical TV show where they showed a study done on mice, showed improvements in blood sugar. So now apple cider vinegar is this miracle drink that everybody needs to drink, diabetics need to drink, and it's just insane well, the, the cults that come from this. All right, you have 45 seconds. Is it okay to drink alcohol though? I was gonna say, I'm sticking to red wine. So moderate yeah. consumption of alcohol is still okay. This study saying that there is no safe level of drinking, there's no safe level of living. So we really need to understand what risk means. Uh, an increase, a four person increase Increase out of a hundred thousand uh, with an alcohol-related illness is not a risk that you need to worry your mind about because that worry itself carries more risk on its own. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> That's good. Mike. Good news. So, and by the way, this has a ton of sugar in it, so of course <laughs> it tastes good.